Yo guys, welcome back to Let's Farm Episode 10 here on our Ravenport farm. Guys, I'm about to turn around and show you something so beautiful, so anticipated, something that I've wanted for such a long time, our very own machine shed. Here it is, guys, our red, beautiful farm machine shed. Let's go ahead and open her up, see what's inside, if we got a little prize. Oh my goodness, there she is. Go ahead, pull out there, Garrett. Oh, we got birds Ooh circling. I mean, this is beautiful. So Garrett's in 3,500 there. He's pulling out awfully slow. And uh, <laughs> yeah, here is our machine check, guys. It's not the biggest, but we aren't the biggest farm. We don't need the biggest, the baddest stuff. So there he is. We're probably going to house our combine in here. Um, this will be our shop if we ever need. I'm not sure. I don't think the lift properly works, but we do have tools and stuff like that. So that's really nice. And we placed it. We did lose some. We lost some farmland, Garrett. So we kind of made a little yeah. trade off there. Yeah, but guys, I think it was worth it. Like, now we have an enclosed machine shed. Before, we were just getting stuff covered with like, rain and mud and everything. So, I think it was worth it. Yeah, I, I really wonder if we're able to put it inside. Like, will, will that will that decrease the, the wear and tear on our vehicles? Like, will the game, obviously in real life it does, but will the game pick that up? It might. I'm not sure. I don't want to say it does or doesn't yet. That would be awesome if it did. But, uh, yeah, I wonder if actually putting vehicles inside anyway that is yeah that can be like our, our vehicle yeah we can put our trucks on this side and then larger equipment we don't really need i don't really care about this one i only care about our <laughs> beautiful 3500 we'll go ahead and pull this out here a tight squeeze with i know it is a tight squeeze at the back <laughs> but yeah let me know what you guys think of this mod we're going to be linking it down below if you guys want to check it out again it's only pc only unfortunately xbox um people on ps4 are unable to get it that is that's the negative negative of having that so yeah beautiful guys let me know what you think of it i think it's awesome beautiful addition to we needed it we really did we all had like half enclosed sheds like that was this is our best protected shed and we put our implements there so i'm gonna put our most valuable piece of equipment i'm gonna actually go ahead we're gonna go grab the combine and see if she fits in there put a few other things Ooh. make it nice and cozy I like it, I like it. Yeah, see if you can uh, grab the T7, detach from the cultivator. Okay, do you, where is that right now? Um, Where's it located? Yep, you know? it's right by the shed. It's, oh, if okay. you, <laughs> Yep, you're good, no worries. All right, let's see if we can squeeze on out of here. Somebody parked it with the header on, what the heck? That is against farm policy. Anyway, it we'll is. go put this on the header trailer. Okay, yeah, I don't, why is the... What, move this around here this trailers header trailers just in the middle of the farm like, no worries okay so yeah yeah guys let me know what you think of the mod and uh we saw it and we're like we gotta get it, it it's just your typical red machine shed and it's uh it's gonna be very nice here and it's gonna i feel like it's gonna make our farm a lot more productive in our equipment in a in a safer house so there we go let's go ahead and unload this on the trailer and i'm gonna let's start filling this shed garrett we don't need the combine for a while uh, and then I think we'll keep our probably the T7 and Don't put the T7 in yet. I'm gonna put okay. the combine in the yeah. back. Good idea. Good idea things we don't need We'll put it in the back Ooh. And there we go. I Like it. I like it. Oh, you loaded up on the trailer. Perfect. Of course. That's where it belongs Garrett <laughs> Are you the one who yeah? Oh, we should probably fold up our combine too so we can actually fit in here. It is I haven't squeeze her in here yet so we're gonna see if this works a little oh, uneven ground uh, oh, we should we aren't hitting i think our pipe might be colliding with something interesting uh let me see if i can figure out what's happening here it what? looks like it should fit no visually visually it, it it is not like hitting anything but it's probably it probably is colliding um like with the game yeah, yeah. it's not hitting anything but i'm sure the game doesn't like it being in here. That totally makes sense. No worries. Let's see if we can come in at an angle, and then we'll quit trying. And then, okay. Yep, no worries. Okay. Yeah, see? Oh. Like, we aren't <laughs> even touching anything. All right, there we go. Yeah, so it's going to be a house for... Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot put the combine. The combine will be staying over here. And we're only going to be upgrading, so I don't think... For now, we'll probably just go all vehicles and tractors. And a lot of our John Deere equipment will stay under here. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe we could put the truck in there because right now our truck's just kind of at the side of our farm. Just we, we really don't use it much, so I think maybe stick it in the back. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, bring the 6R over. 
or sorry, 6M, <laughs> and probably the 6R as well. I know it's not, we're, this is probably where we're just going to keep them uh, for the night and kind of when we wrap things up here. You putting the semi in there? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking there should be lots of space because we can kind of put it where our vehicle workstation kind of is. Yeah. So here, let's see if I can navigate her in here, kind of have it on the lift a bit. It's right. We we won't be using the lift too much. Yeah, you can go ahead. If you can squeeze her back there, that should work great. Actually, there we go. It's not even on the lift. Perfect. I like it. And then, of course, when winter hits, we are going to be set. But for now, we're going to make sure that this is kind of where we're going to squeeze. I'm, I'm curious to see how the T7 is going to fit in here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very curious about that one. <laughs> And obviously, so nobody comes, steals our tractors. That's super important that we have a machine shed and, and we can just work on things and store them. Do you think we should put this this thing in here? I think T7 <laughs> will be the last vehicle. I think we okay. will have enough. Um, no, we don't need, I don't care about that truck. I only care about 3,500. Okay. Here, actually, I'm going to move our header trailer because it's kind of in a weird spot. Yes, it should is. should be able to pull it with this thing. All right, honestly, yeah, we do. We still have quite a bit of room, but I, I like to keep the room, like to keep things, you know, movable. Okay, that's super cool. Um, do we, is there anything else I want, like, out of, out of the environment? Ooh. Yeah, things are kind of clearing out now. So I always, this bale shredder is always in a weird spot. So we're kind of, yeah, we're kind of like rearranging things here. <laughs> Maybe I'll go ahead and grab this 6R. That'll probably work good. I like it. I like it. There we go. So you're putting... Where are you putting the truck at? Uh, I'm just... Well, the truck? The truck, I'm not sure yet. I'm probably close to... I think it's just the side of the house, kind of where it was before would be good. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to move this Yeah, trailer. see if we can tuck the, the header back there. Yeah. And then I think the last vehicle I'll put in is... We'll go ahead and put in... The 6R. I know I need to do a little bit of work with the front loader. We had a few things wrong with the hydraulics, so I think I got to replace a hose or two. We'll go ahead and set this down here. Sounds good. There we go. And then we will shut it, guys. There it is. Our machine shed is finally in use. I wanted to wait till we started recording and, and we could actually start adding vehicles. And let me know what you think. Again, I have asked that like 20 times, but I'm curious to see what you guys think. The first mach machine shed we were able to download. And it seems like it's going to be a, a wonderful mod. So I'm going to go ahead and spray down some fertilizer here in our sprayer on field 26, 25, and 24 here. We did lose, I mentioned that, we did lose some ground. Uh, so we got to kind of make up for it, make sure that we get a good yield this next harvest. Yeah. Okay, so I got it. I got the trailer put the side, but this truck was not really suited too well to pull that much weight, it seems. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, yeah, that little truck. The most we do with that is probably the horse trailer and uh, a little little other stuff like that. So if you, the Mahindra's at the chicken coop, if you want to bring that over too, I know we need to bring that okay. back. And that's something that we can always keep in the machine shed as well. Yeah. Uh, so nobody takes it and it's just zip it in and out really quick. Sounds good. And I'll, I'll check in on the chickens when I'm over here. Perfect. Yeah, if you could check in on the chickens, that would be awesome. I think they're doing good. We have plenty of wheat and water for them should be fine um but we never know we're, we're new chicken farmers and our chicken coop is doing super well how many eggs so we are at 64 eggs right now perfect how much is that cool. a box or uh that is one box one box okay one box so far i think maybe another one's being worked on to be made right now but uh yeah we have one box completed <laughs> i think it's 50 eggs per box because last time we were at like 150 and we had three three boxes so that would make yeah. sense um, if it was 50 eggs per box and yeah Pretty cool and our horses do need riding. I was just looking at that Okay, so cool. cool, we'll, cool. We will try riding them a bit during this video guys the main thing was getting this machine shed placed down um, And then also obviously putting vehicles inside of it. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead spray our fertilizer here I don't know what we're gonna plant yet. Obviously with the I do want to plant some grass around. I think I'm going to do that right now. We're going to kind of totally finish up the machine shed here. And I think what I'm going to do is plant grass around, directly around the field. And then we'll obviously still 
have our crop as well, but I don't want to put it right next to the machine shed if we ever, um, you know, set things by the side of it and stuff. Like, obviously, the PJ trailer there and stuff like that. Okay, there's Garrett. He's balling around, boys. All right, we're going to have to just drop a little bit of fertilizer off here. Sounds good. Sounds good. Try staying out of the way so I don't get soaked. <laughs> I know. I didn't, I didn't want to hit you. Okay, yeah, so the Mahindra... If you guys haven't seen the thing, we added it to the farm. That cost us a lot. And our bank account is like 16K right now. So things are looking on the low side for finances right now. But I think we are finally getting things underway. And the farm is really, really, really coming together. It's yeah. good to see. So I'm going to go ahead and put the planter back. Hook up with, I don't know, probably something. I guess our planter is pretty big. Or we're, I'm going to use a small planter then. Because I got to go around like really small spaces. Okay. It's good that we got a small one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, maybe could you get the six M out of there? Oh, okay. Just closing her up. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll keep her open for now. <clears throat> and I think we'll pull the six M out. Six M is at the back. That's great. Okay, I'll get it out. I'll just yeah, just pull that out, and then I can grab it from right here. Okay, perfect. I'll just pull and her then, back in. Yep. And just replace it. Okay, cool, guys. We're going to get a lot of work out of the machine shed. It's going to make things a lot more realistic and feel more like a farm. Ravenport was kind of missing the farm feel. And now that I believe we have a red machine shed, I just feel at home. <laughs> feel like we're officially a farm and things are kind of underway here. If we just make her look pretty, plant some grass around it. Here, if you want to grab maybe like the T7 or something and then start planting the field... Um, 20, 24, 25, and 26 that I don't plant grass. We'll for sure plant oats for the horses like we always do. Okay. I think that'll be that'll be awesome. Okay. I'm going to, again, have to move stuff around. We're going to, guys, we're going to figure out, like, a good layout for everything in the machine shed because, obviously, right now we're going to take stuff in and out. Well, yeah, um, you can just keep the, ma keep the Mahindra on the, on the concrete or something. Yeah. That'll work perfect. Okay, yeah, we might we even end up taking out the semi because it is quite big, but... We will see. We will see. Yeah, no. I don't know if we'll... I guess we aren't going to need the semi for a while, too. So yeah. it's more about storage as well. We aren't going to be harvesting for a while. Obviously, we have to plant and stuff. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to probably make a good maybe one or two passes with the grass. And then the rest you can uh, take care of with planting oats, I'm thinking. Sounds good. Sounds good. And it's going to look really good when we have... Officially like a bunch of grass right here and things are gonna look really really nice. I Like it. I like it. It is a little uneven ground the we still haven't been able to figure out how to make things look Really professional with the ground and just everything. I'm sure that's we'll start figuring that out later, but it's just really really uneven There we go, okay, yeah, I think I'll make two passes make a really good looking grass patch here but I feel like the machine shed is going to look really good like in the future when we plant corn and stuff right next to it. And we have super tall corn right next to the machine sh machine oh, shed. That'll be... That's going to be awesome. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. And then let's see what we can do here. There we yeah, go. So yeah. I, go ahead. I, th I think I'll put the Mahindra maybe on that lift back there because obviously it's quite a small vehicle it fits perfectly on the lift um and it doesn't take up floor space and we can only squeeze it by any other vehicles if need be perfect yeah, unfortunately i wasn't able to plant there yeah so it's super slanted I, it was hard for me to get back and well garrett you could just keep the Mah mahindra like on go because we'll, we're using it all the time but yeah you, th you think we're gonna use it oh, no no it's okay. fine you can just leave it back there Okay, yeah, good. Again, over time, we'll, we'll be able, obviously, we can move stuff around. We'll see what works best. Okay, so, yeah, I wasn't able to, okay, right there, we got a little bit, but the ground is so uneven. I want to plant grass right there. I think I'm going to see if I can make, try another pass. Maybe it was just the angle that I was taking. I'll try staying out of the way. There we go. So that's our only planter, correct? You didn't buy a surprise no, one? No, no, we've had two for 
for a while. We got a bigger one over by the baler. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Garrett, where have you been? Vacation I, again? No, I just wasn't. I just wasn't thinking. All right. You've been no making problem. me work some tough hours, Spencer. Oh, <laughs> there it is. All right, we're Crap. waiting for it. Oh, yeah. okay. It's not. Well, okay. I didn't have it lowered that time. I'll admit, I didn't have it lowered that time. But I'm trying to get right up on there. Last time I couldn't get it. Let's see if we can get on there, make a good plant, and get a good seed in. Right on the we side, I want to get. I want to get a lot of grass in here and make it look really pretty. Okay, so it's going. Come on, come on. It's still seeding. It's drilling. And then I'll get this top section. I doubt it's going to get the side. We'll go right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then I do want to get the side. We'll probably have to go ahead, move the PJ trailer. I'm going to make another pass. Um... Yeah, there you go. That planter, switch it to oats. Do you have... I'm pretty sure there's fertilizer in there as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we should. Seems like we all good with that. Okay. I missed that spot right there. Sometimes it glitches out. It doesn't glitch out, but it, it does kind of mess a few things up. Okay. And we're obviously, we're never going to, like, mow this for hay. I mean, we can mow it with a smaller mower, but it doesn't matter that we run over it all the time. Like earlier, we were kind of a little worried about that. Yeah. Okay, so you're thinking just plant this whole field? Yep. Or the rest of it? Watch out for, yeah, watch watch what I'm planting grass and make sure you don't yeah. take that out. Yeah, so just around that little area sounds good. Again, okay, you guys, this planner, I just remember, like, it is so damaged. You guys can see visually, like, it is, it is all scraped up, so. Yeah, we put some hours working. on her. <laughs> We put a yeah. lot of hours on her. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot about this thing because I remember using this this thing for hours. <laughs> Jeez, Gary, you just forgot about somebody that you've been with for hours. That's well, tisk, tisk, it's tisk. it's not a person, but okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so there we go. That's decent. I'm pretty sure I hit that patch. Yes, I did. Okay, there's gonna be a miss right there, which is kind of annoying. And then. Okay, we're out of fertilizer. That's why it's given a little different. Can I get this corner right here? Oh, yes. There we go. Ooh. And then hit this little patch right here as well. I do want to come around, and I'm thinking I'm going to spray fertilizer on it. Okay. It might be important, but uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool, cool. We got to ride some horses. I think that's what I'll do to wrap up this video, but I do want to make sure that all these... Um that all the grass kind of comes in good. So let's go ahead. I think Clarence is uh is already been ridden, but we'll see. We'll we'll, we'll kind of see what horses. So Clarence is 100%. If you guys are wondering, she's worth $26,000. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Randy, Snuffies, big money there. And then the other ones we need to work on. Yeah. But guys, they're all they're all going up. They're all going up in value, which is what we like. And guys, you got to think we we aren't even like 50% trained for them, right? No, uh, no, they're about halfway. So about I think halfway. the max, well, they'll be like worth fifty thousand dollars. But you know, we're gonna we have eight of them. I yeah, big time money. Yeah, that's gonna be, it's gonna be nice, guys. I'll say that. <laughs> and then yes, so we do for some of the people who have missed episodes. This field has been ripped apart. We've taken out all the trees. Everything is uh, is grass here, and so this is gonna be a really profitable field for us. And it's going to keep our horses and everything going strong with a bunch of hay. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be really, really nice stuff. So there we go, guys. I think I'm going to wrap up today's video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you guys next time.